reason for going to Cuba was to connect with musicians uh, and artists. So connecting with Goliath, the great, you know, Cuban artist who I had purchased in his art. I love his images. And the one I connected with is called Messing With Other People's Heads. And so right away, that connects to me because, you know, it has a, a political edge on it which is how does power allow one to mess with other people's heads? And so as an artist, you're always concerned with debunking that power and giving agency to people to be in control of their own lives and their own voices. Secondly, the painting is a beautiful picture with textures of colors. Colors and textures immediately as a composer means harmonies and rhythms and overlapping ideas and overlapping musical colors. And for him, it's overlapping visual colors and concepts. When you look at a painting of his, like this one, this is the one I was drawn to, you can feel the energy and the rhythms. The first thing that we did is when he heard my music, he started moving his hands. We both started moving our hands in the air as if we were painting the sounds, which is really funny because as he heard the rise in themes and energy, he also heard that as representative of creating colors and sounds, which is exactly the kind of universal language that we were looking to do. So I'm going to compose music for his U.S. visit in 2013. Then secondly, we're going to create a piece together, collaborative piece. He's listening to my music now. I have his paintings, and he'll email me some images too. And then over the next year, we're gonna create these works, the paintings and music that are birthed through similar thinking processes. And then you'll hear them and see them together, both in US when he's here, and then we'll also premiere the piece in Cuba.